What's up guys, I'm Josh Grambo. There's no time to waste. For the first time in 10 years, Blender's announced a brand new Cycles for free Cycles X. Holy shit, up to 25 or 50% faster depending on the load. It's pretty insane. Let's jump into it. It's kind of confusing because it's not Blender 2.92, it's not Blender 2.93, it's not Blender 3.0, it's Blender's Cycles X 3.0 Alpha. It's very confusing. So I'm gonna walk you guys through, all you newbies out there that wanna try Cycles X and get up in there early, how to get in there. But before we get into that, please hit the subscribe button, guys. Every time you subscribe, a leprechaun gets kicked in the balls, and when he throws up, we get the map to the treasure. Back into Cycles X. So for like the last couple weeks, the guys at Blender have been posting these really cryptic messages on Twitter. With these X, like a Roman numeral. First Cycles update in 10 years. Cycles started out as an add-on, so it's pretty cool. I mean, there's, there's E-Cycles, which is a paid add-on, but Cycles X is completely free. The way they've done it is essentially just kind of optimize it through the GPU. That is a problem. If you don't have a GPU, you're kind of shit out of luck on this one. You're not going to be able to use it. So Cycles X is a completely different branch other than just like Cycles 3.0. Because when you go to the experimental side of Blender, you'll see that there's the 3.0 tab, and then you have to go down and you have to find the branches tab, experimental branches tab. You go in there, you'll scroll all the way down, then you will find yourself Cycles X. Download that. It opens up just like a new software download of Blender. So just like you downloaded 2.92 when it came out, you open it up. It's essentially just an updated version, but it's not Blender 3.0. It's Blender's Cycles X 3.0. So make sure you get Cycles X, download that, open it exactly like that, import your settings from the last install of Blender that you had, make sure that all of your user interface is the same as it was, and then you just go on in. So if you check out this scene that I did, it's a very heavy hitter. It's got 17 million tries and faces. I mean, it's no bullshit. So when I put it through here, I opened it up in 2.92. The runner time ended up coming out to 21.82 seconds for the scene that we had with this little ocean scene with scans of the ocean floor. And then we brought it over into Cycles X. You can see as it pumped up, we did the exact same frame, the exact same scene. Nine point one seconds. Nine point one. By my hillbilly math, that's that's like fifty-five to fifty-seven percent faster. It's pretty amazing. Just from an update. It's completely free. Cycles X. It's kind of unbelievable. I'm gonna drop a video tomorrow about how you can use the same kind of technology, but in an earlier update of Blender. So if you're just updating to 2.93 and you're not ready to go with all this jazz, I'm gonna show you a way that you can use some of this technology to help save yourself up to 25, 50, or 60, 75%. My name's Josh Grambo. Subscribe. Clap your hands, everybody, and everybody clap your hands. We lambda, 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 and Omega Moon. And we've come here on stage tonight to do a show for you. We got a rockin' rhythm and a high-tech sound that'll make you move your body down to the ground. We got Poindexter on the violin, and Lewis and Gilbert will be joining in. We got Booga Presley on the mean guitar, and a rap by little old me, Lamar. We got Takashi beating on his gong. The boys and the moves are clapping along. And just when you thought you seen it all, along comes a lambda four foot tall. So won't you come on out here on the floor, so we can work our bodies like never before. Break. Subscribe.